Hello and welcome to the demonstration of the AM transmitter and the FM to AM converter. If like me you have an old vintage radio but can't find anything worth listening to on the AM band then this is an ideal solution. Uh, basically it gives you the ability to transmit whatever you like on the AM band. So for example you can have an MP3 player loaded up with old time radio shows or old music and you can listen to the sort of music these radios were originally designed for. Um, they're easy to use. Uh, basically you try and find a clear frequency on the AM band. So you just, you just tune up and down until you can find where there's no stations. Right. Okay, so here's a gap on the AM band where there's nothing broadcasting. Uh, we plug our MP3 player, computer, or whatever into the uh, AM transmitter and we play a song. So basically, I've got Buddy Hardy playing at the moment, uh, which would be typical for <laughs> this type of radio. Um, and I'm going to switch it on. And I'm now going to uh, tune the tuning adjustment here, the blue knob here, and that sets the frequency in which this transmits to. I uh, just adjust it until I hear my music on the old radio. There it is. So now we're listening to old time music on our old time radio. Uh, of course, if you've got a laptop, uh, there's plenty of websites where they play old vintage radio shows, and you can really, yeah. <laughs> have the uh, yeah the experience of uh, these old radios. Uh, it runs off battery or uh, main power via a 12 volt adapter. Uh, battery operated means you can take it in the car. So if you have an old vintage car with its original AM vintage radio, you can listen to your MP3s from your MP3 player on that radio. Uh, you're not just limited to what's on the AM band. Uh, the other device we have here is an FM to AM converter. Now this is pretty well the same as the AM transmitter, but it has an FM radio built in. And not only does it enable you to listen to FM radio stations on the AM band, but it still has the ability to plug in your MP3 player. So to set this one up, what we do, uh, switch it on, and again we uh, use our MP3 player to play a song so we know that we've got the right uh, yeah, um, signal. And this one's slightly different uh, because the AM tuning is a little hole uh, on the bottom, uh, as you can see there. So again, radio tuned where there's no signals. We get our supply trimming tool, uh, put it in the hole there, and adjust it until we can hear our MP3 playing uh, on the AM radio. So. Okay. So again, our MP3 is now playing on the radio. So what we can now do, when well it's set up, it's set up, and we don't need to touch that adjustment anymore because that's just our transmitting adjustment. Uh, we then unplug the MP3 player, and the knob on this particular one is the FM tuning knob. Uh, so basically, we just tune our FM station in. Okay. Now we're listening to FM radio on our old AM radio receiver. Um, and hopefully in your area you may have some 60s or oldies radio stations broadcasting, but it's just nice to be able to listen to radio on an old vintage set without being limited to uh, AM only. Again, uh, battery uh, powered or can be powered by an external 12 volt power supply. Um, and that's it, they're the two uh, items. And of course, again, the FM one still has the ability to plug in your MP3 player so you can listen to whatever you want if you can't find anything on the radio. Okay, well thank you for viewing and uh, yeah, these are available uh, on eBay and they also cost a fraction of the cost that uh, similar items will cost. 
In fact, the FM to IM converter is actually quite a unique product. We haven't found them anywhere yet. So there we go. Thank you for watching.